Have you ever wondered about the origins of Native Americans? For a long time, the prevailing belief was that Native American groups from Central and South America traced their origins back to a single ancestral population. This theory stemmed from genetic studies that pointed to a common lineage. Yet, a more complex scenario started to emerge when scientists began examining some of the oldest skeletons found on the continent. These ancient remains showed morphological diversity, physical characteristics that didn't quite align with the single origin theory. The skeletons bore traits that were more akin to indigenous Australians, New Guineans, and Andaman Islanders than any present-day Eurasian or Native American groups. This unexpected revelation hinted at a more intricate tapestry of human migration and settlement in the Americas than previously assumed. But what if there was more to this story than we initially thought? But before we get into the rest of this video, we want to take a quick second to tell you about our special limited time offer. We are giving away free copies of our newest book, 13 Black Scholars Who Admitted There Were Black People in the Americas Before Columbus. This exclusive offer is our way of saying thank you for your incredible support. Dive deep into history with us and uncover truths that challenge what we've been taught. But hurry, this offer won't last forever. Click the link in the description and grab your free copy. Now let's get back to the video. Enter Pontus Skogland and David Reich, two geneticists who decided to dig deeper. Skogland hails from Sweden, working tirelessly at the Francis Crick Institute in London, where he peels back the layers of early human populations' genomic history. His work sheds light on the intricate migration patterns and demographic shifts that have occurred over thousands of years. On the other side of the pond, Harvard geneticist David Reich has been making waves in human evolutionary genetics. His research probes the genomes of both ancient and modern humans, tracing the genetic lineage of populations across the globe and exploring the consequences of interbreeding among archaic and modern humans. The two joined forces to co-author a pivotal study, Genetic Evidence for Two Founding Populations of the Americas, published in Nature in 2015. This research challenged the traditional single origin theory for Native American groups, suggesting a more complex scenario. Their groundbreaking research would reshape our understanding of the genetic history of the Americas. Skogland and Reich's study, Genetic Evidence for Two Founding Populations of the Americas, brought forth a surprising revelation. Their research unveiled that instead of a single origin as traditionally believed, there were two distinct founding populations contributing to Native American genetic diversity. This groundbreaking finding came from analyzing ancient DNA samples from prehistoric individuals in the Americas. Intriguingly, these samples revealed a genomic signature aligning more closely with indigenous Australians, New Guineans, and Andaman Islanders than with any present-day Eurasian or Native American groups. This challenges the earlier models of the peopling of the Americas and paints a more complex picture of the continent's earliest inhabitants. Instead of a singular migration route from Eurasia, the study suggests a diverse set of founding populations, each bringing a unique genetic contribution. Their work was a paradigm shift, suggesting a broader array of ancestral contributions to the Americas. The simplicity of previous theories has been replaced by a tapestry of intricate histories and migrations, enriching our understanding of the human past. So, what does this mean for our understanding of human migration? The implications of Skogland and Reich's research are far-reaching and transformative. This groundbreaking study paints a picture of the past that's far more intricate than we ever imagined. It reveals a rich tapestry of human migration, brimming with diversity and complexity. Their findings challenge the traditional single-origin theory of Native American groups, suggesting instead a diverse set of founding populations. By shedding light on the nuanced origins and migration paths of the continent's earliest inhabitants, this research fundamentally reshapes our understanding of the settlement and genetic history of the Americas. The discovery of the genomic signature that aligns more closely with indigenous Australians, New Guineans, and Andaman Islanders than with any present-day Eurasian or Native American groups points to a broader array of ancestral contributions. This intricate tapestry of human history continues to unravel, challenging our perceptions and enhancing our understanding of our shared past. This journey through America's hidden black past is just beginning. If this glimpse into a world lost to time has captured your imagination, smash that like button, and don't forget to subscribe for more adventures into the unknown. Lastly, for more information about the names and subjects mentioned in this video, get your copy of the Amazon best-selling book series, 19 White Men Who Admitted There Were Indigenous Black People in the Americas, 
and 13 black scholars who admitted there were black people in the Americas before Columbus, by Chase McGee. Link in the description. Stay curious, and keep exploring.